father fighting for a safe place to live contacted the CBS4 Problem Solvers for help. She and her neighbors were working with the health department, but COVID-19 made it much more difficult. Yeah, the pandemic caused health inspectors to stop a lot of their work, in-person work and inspections, and it closed down courts. CBS4's Joe Glavin looked into the changes and how they are affecting families in need. If you can't get your landlord to fix a problem in your home, that's where the Marion County Health Department steps in. But the process they usually go through has changed significantly over the past few months. I'm like, I can't catch a break. In the middle of the pandemic, Nada Scott needed help after the gas company shut off service to her apartment due to a leak. That 40 hours turned into a week, a week turned into two weeks. And I'm steady calling, I'm like, hey, I need to update what's going on. I don't have no way to cook. I don't have no way to heat my apartment. It's been cold at night. Scott and her neighbors ended up calling the health department, and in late April, an inspector issued this emergency order, giving owners 24 hours to fix the gas, hot water heater, and pipes. But that inspector could not go into Scott's unit to check out other issues. We all communicated by phone. Um, he said because of the coronavirus, it was going to be difficult to come out. It was hard on the inspectors because they're used to being able to go in and address the situations. I spoke to Lynn Walker and Lara Morgan with the Marion County Health Department. They confirmed that the pandemic has made it difficult to do in-person inspections. And until recently, most contact happened by phone unless the issue was an emergency or on the outside of the home. At a minimum, it's a definitely phone conversation between tenants and owners and property managers to see if they can't fix the problems um, through doing the uh, conversations with everyone. Next week, inspectors will be able to take cases to court for the first time in months via video conference. We've received probably in the last two weeks a lot, a lot of no air conditionings or air conditioning not working. So we're trying to address those as soon as possible. In Nada Scott's case, an inspector did get out to look inside recently, and property managers told me they expect to get her issues fixed soon. I can, but I want to make sure I have a safe environment for me and my kids to live in. I don't want to be in a situation like this again. If you have a problem, you should still call the health department. Their inspectors are using PPE when they go out to homes, and they've started doing inspections for critical issues in addition to emergencies. For CBS4 Problem Solvers, I'm Jill Glavin.